All right, so welcome back to, I guess, the first official episode of the uh, Discord bot series. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and set up the uh, the Discord bot for our uh, for our application. We're going to be doing this in a, a, a series of videos, so don't worry, we're not going to, you know, just jump through everything immediately. I'm going to show you how to set up the actual application properly, so don't worry. But before we do that, though, I do want to mention a couple prerequisites in order, so that way everyone is uh, aware of what of what's going on um i need to mention this you know in case if there are any errors usually uh that can be solved by just making sure you have the prerequisites so before you get started make sure you have at least node js version 16.6.0 uh, that's what it literally says on the official discord js documentation if you don't have version 16.6.0 the latest version of discord js is not going to work you can easily download Node.js by going to nodejs.org, and you can download it for uh, whatever operating system you're using. I'm on Windows, so uh, I have it already installed. As of this video, I have version 16.13.1, uh, so I'm good. But if you don't have at least version 16.6.0, then make sure you update to a make make sure you update to at least that version okay but even if you use i think version 17 or you know any a, a newer version i don't think there's going to be any issues um but yeah 16.13.1 i haven't had any issues so there shouldn't be any problems uh so make sure you install that there's plenty of videos and guides online on how to properly install that so we're not going to do that but i do have node installed and npm is also set up properly as well and that's version 8 Okay, cool. And um, I think that's really it. That's all I really need to mention. We are going to be using Node to build the Discord, but obviously we're going to use that to build the backend, and we're also going to be using that to uh, run the React app when we get to that point. Aside from that, just make sure you have your favorite text editor. I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code, and that is going to be pretty much it. So uh, we're going to have a total of three folders. So remember, we're going to have three different projects. We're going to have the Discord bot. We're going to have the backend API, and then we're also going to have the React application, which is the front end. Now, I'm going to keep everything in this folder called Discord Dashboard because I want to be, um, I want to be um, organized. I'm going to also put everything inside a GitHub repository for you, so that way you all can easily uh, clone the code, and then you can just do whatever you want with it. Okay. In terms of building the actual Discord bot, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and cheat a little bit. So uh, I'm not going to go ahead and recreate an entire Discord bot from scratch because that's going to involve, uh, you know, setting up everything properly using things such as a command handler and an event handler. I've done many videos on those before, and I would encourage everyone to check those out on my video. But I'm going to be using a tool that I created a couple, like, like about a while ago. It's called Slappy. And all this does is it just generates a project scaffold for you. So if you've used something like Angular CLI, if you've used Create React App, if you've used the Nest.js CLI, those CLI tools literally just generate a project, uh, a, a, a default project for you. Uh, and this is what Slappy does. And the reason why I created this, I'm not going to get super in-depth into it, but it was basically just create a simple uh, project scaffold that has the command handler set up, it has the event handler set up, and I'm assuming that most people who are watching these dashboard videos already have an understanding of how Discord bot works. So if I were to actually build a Discord bot all the way from, from scratch and set everything up, it wouldn't be scalable in my opinion. The code base would look like a nightmare. So it's just better to just uh, start from something like this. Okay. And it's very easy to use this. Um, all you got to do, there's some documentation that I wrote uh, on how to set this up. But all you got to do is just install this module globally okay and you can easily generate a project that will work just fine so i already have it installed already so you can see that i have it installed as you can see and all i'm going to do is just press new and i'm just going to call this discord bots v13 okay and you can select what language that you're going to use i'm going to select typescript Okay, for the package manager, we're going to select yarn, and then we're going to go ahead and enter the bot token. For now, I'm going to just press one, two, three, 
but I'm going to show you how to create the actual bot application and what we're going to do. Remember, we're going to I'm going to show you everything from the beginning, so don't worry. Now, obviously, I know most of you all already know how to do that already, so you can just skip through that. But yeah, just enter your bot token. Uh, and it should take a little bit of time. There we go. So it took a little bit. I'm not sure why it took so long, but uh, it's fine. So you can see that it creates this project for you. I'm going to open this up in Visual Studio Code so that way you all can see what goes on, what it actually does, okay? So um, you can see that all it does is it just generates a bot project for you and it has everything set up for you so you don't have to do it all by yourself, okay? It sets up everything for you and it's version 13 ready. Uh, I haven't updated this for a while, but it should just work just fine. Anyways, I don't want to go super in-depth into this package. But you all can just easily just clone the code and it should just work fine. The only thing that we need to do now is we need to go into this slappy.json file and we need to update this token. I'm assuming that you all already know how to do the Discord bot stuff already on how to create the application. But I'm just going to do it just for the sake of demonstration because, you know, some people... Uh, I know there's some people who are watching this from scratch. Uh, so I just want to make sure I'm covering every single possible case. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our bot application. I'm just going to call this Discord Dashboard Bot. Let's create that. We're going to go over to the bot now. We're going to click Add Bot. There we go. We're going to need a couple things. We're going to need the application ID, and we're going to need to authorize the bot. So on my Discord account, I actually don't even have any, um, any servers that I'm in right now. So I'm going to go ahead and create one real quick. Uh, I'll just create one, and we'll just skip this question. Just create. I'll create probably like you know two or three later, two or three more later, just to demonstrate uh, the UI and how it's going to work. And we'll also upload some uh, some avatars for the server later. Okay. Uh, so this is where the bot is going to go for now. So let me just go ahead and do that. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, take this URL, and this is how you just literally get your bot to join the server. You're going to need to take the client ID of your of your application and you're going to need to add the client underscore ID query parameter in the browser in the URL and then add the scope to the to bot and this will allow you to authorize your bot to join the server. Again, I'm assuming that most people already know how this works already, but that's why I'm just going through this very quickly. Um, but yeah, it's very straightforward. Uh, process okay and you can see that the bot is now on the server so that's good great uh let's go and just get the bot token so let's just copy that um and we'll just paste that in there like i said i'm sure that most of you already pasted your bot token already now let's just go ahead and run this project now and it should just work just fine we shouldn't need to oh, what's going on over here oh whoops uh, let's go do dev. So sh this should just work just fine. There shouldn't be any issues. Uh, there we go. Bot has logged in, and we can see that the bot is online. And you can see that I did not change anything in the code aside from just changing the bot token, and the bot is just logged in. And this is why I recommend just using this instead, so that way we don't have to create like about you know ten different episodes on how to set this whole thing up. We have a basis to work with. Okay. So all we need to do now is just connect our bot to the database. Once we've connected our bot to the database, we can then create uh, a couple of basic commands and a couple of basic uh, events to handle what, what should happen whenever a bot joins a server and what should happen whenever, um, whenever uh, you know, the bot has an ad. But ultimately though, I think this should be, this is literally like I think 80% of what we need to do. Like I said, the only thing that we need to do next is just set up our database. Um, once we have set up a database, uh, we should be good to go. We can just create a couple of, of entities, some schemas. Uh, those are just going to be um, classes that will relate to the actual database query language and the whole structure of the database. We're going to be using MySQL, um, and I'm going to show you how to set that up, so don't worry. Um, aside from that, I think this is just going to be it for this video. I don't want to make this, like I said, I don't want to make these videos too long. I just want them to be very as short as possible with a lot of details possible. But this is just pretty much it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and obviously I'm just going to remove this bot token. But I'm going to commit this code to GitHub. Uh, and that way you all can actually uh, get this code. 
but if you like I said, it's just the same thing that you would get if you used slappy so there's really no point but i'm just going to commit it anyways because we're going to make changes and then those changes are what you all can actually um pull down so uh, that's going to be it for this tutorial in the next tutorial we're going to go ahead connect the database well with our bot we're going to create a couple of entities to represent um a couple things such as guild configuration um and any other things that we might need for our application and i think once we've done all of that we can move over to the actual uh the actual dashboard stuff so that'll be the front end and the back end so i'll see you all in the next episode peace out